What is going on, YouTube? It's I Tesla here, bringing you a Wi-Fi battle here at the end of the weekend. And today was the last day I used Mega Glalie on my team. So the poll to determine next week's Mega will be in the description. But you guys have pretty much, really, three or less hours left to vote. What? Because most likely, this video will not be uploaded until after 9 o'clock. But anyways... This is against a follower named HTZBreadK. He appeared on my stream and we battled. And he has a pretty cool looking OU mixed team, I have to say. It's not completely OU. It does have some OU Pokemon, but I'll, well, like one or two OU Pokemon. The rest are UU or below. He has Slowbro, Crocodile, Beedrill, Scizor, Roserade, and Hitmonchan. I am bringing Rotomarsh, Slowbro, Togekiss, Tyranitar, Victini, and Mega Glalie. This was my first Mega Glalie team I was testing out earlier in the week. And while it has looked like it's been doing good, you'll see in the next battle, battle or two, it doesn't do that hot. So that's why I changed it up during the later half of this week. And you're going to see what I changed it up to in a later, later video, sorry, my bad. But yeah, let's get on with this battle against HT Zebride K, and yeah, let's do it. My opponent is going to lead off with Hitmonchan. I am going to lead off with Rotom Y. She has a Crocodile, and well, I wanted to. Hold on a sec. I wanted to. You know. Go for I just want to teach you switch for the crocodile, but I went for Volt Switch, did the safe play because I know this thing has Iron Fist, and my Rotom being an offensively built one won't take a Drain Punch that well. So I do pivot a Volt Switch and go into my slow bro, he goes for the Drain Punch, and yep, I was right, and I'm glad Rotom Watch didn't have to take that nasty hit. Slow bro is going to get healed with leftovers. Yeah, 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 we all know this. And I'm going to go into a Thunder Wave, because I know he's going to switch into Rose Raid. I mean, could have went for Size Shock as well, but I figured I'd do the safe play and go into Thunder Wave. In case he's... Even if he's switching to a Scizor, actually. So I went for Thunder Wave. It paralyzes Rose Raid, which makes my slow bro as slow as it is faster than Rose Raid. So I'm going to go for the Size Shock, and it almost takes out Rose Raid. But not quite enough. There's a clean 90% to it. Base, well, 80 or 90%, don't really know. He just set to toss the spikes. And at this point, he knows that I'm going to go for another shy sh side shock to take out that Rose Raid. So, his Rose Raid is going to get healed with a Black Sludge. He's going to withdraw it and go into Scizor, which I predict, and go for Scald. I really was hoping for the burn. I really, really was. So, yeah. Here's the Skull, and do I get the burn? No. I don't get luck at the burn as well. I'm going to leave Slowbro in because I'm not really sure what I want to switch into. But I could take a U-turn. And obviously this thing is choice banded. I'm I'm assuming that his Hitmonchan is Scarf and his Scissor is banded. So I do go for a Skull, hoping that he might stay in and be the sword in center. But, no, he goes switching to Rose Raid. Skull hits Rose Raid for not much, actually. And, of course, I don't get the burn. So, I'm going to switch Slowbro out. Kind of want to save Slowbro for later. I'm going to go into Salty Yet, the Togekiss. Which could take a Giga Drain from Rose Raid. And even a Sludge Bomb. So, I'm going to hit that Giga Drain on Togekiss. Not going to do much. And, yeah, He's going to go for the Sludge Bomb, have his Rose Raid, you know, hit my Togekiss with a Sludge Bomb. It's super effective, but Togekiss being the special defensive wall can take that fairly well. Actually, it really took it well. Gets poisoned, unfortunately. However, the Flamethrower will take out Rose Raid, and I did go for Flamethrower in case on the option that he switched into Scizor. So, yeah. So Togekiss gets killed with Leftovers. I'm glad I got rid of... I got rid of the Rose Raid, so I just need to clear off the Toxic Spikes, and I don't have to worry about that. So that comes Beedrill, and I do make a very risky play here. Now, he's going to Mega Evolve, not going to go for the Protect, going to go for the U-Turn, 
probably expecting me to switch into something that resists poison jab, so this gives me an opportunity to go for defog. It was dumb luck on my part that he did go for the U-turn instead of the poison jab, so this gives me the opportunity to go for a defog, thankfully. So we're going to get those toxic spikes out of the way. And what do I go into next? Well, Toga is going to heal with leftovers and suffer some poison damage, unfortunately. But we're going to withdraw the Toga Kiss, and we're going to go in... No, actually, we're going to go for Thunder Wave. Yes, we're going to go for Thunder Wave. And what's Slowbro going to do? Let's see. Slowbro goes for Ice Beam. Well, Toga Kiss gets healed with leftovers, but I don't believe that's going to be quite enough to save it from poison. Doesn't really matter, Togekiss is pretty slow, and it's, it's at low HP, so I can't really do much in this battle. So, goodbye Togekiss, see you later, and I'm going to send in my Victini. He's going to try a Lady Bro, probably assumes I'm banded and going to go for a Volt Switch, or a Volt Strike, Volt Strike, whatever, I'm sorry. First I was going to have to Intimidate off, and I go for Trick. Yeah. I tried to trick something. I don't know why I went for trick, but I did. And I tricked the choice on the Crocodile. It's actually going to suck for me, though, because now Crocodile outspeeds my Victini. So I'm going to switch Victini out. I'm going to Tyranitar, the Tyranitar. Expecting, I believe, a knockoff from this Crocodile. Does he go for a knockoff? He does indeed go for a knockoff. He knocks off my Tyranitar's life orb. And I'm going to set up a Dragon Dance, or do I go for Stealth Rocks? Try and see what I do first. first. Alright, I do go for Stealth Rocks, because my priority is getting as much damage on that B drill as possible. Slowbro gets hurt by, you know, the Sandstorm. I'm going to go for a Dragon Dance and hope that a Slowbro gets Paralyzed Hacked so I can go for a Crunch on it. But, you're going to see that, no, it doesn't. Instead, it paralyzes my own Tyranitar. It uses a Thunder Wave on its own. So, rather unfortunate there that that had to happen. He's going to withdraw Slowbro and go into Hitmonchan, which is going to take a crunch from Tyranitar. I was hoping that he might keep Slowbro in, but, again was not meant to be, and, yeah, Crunch, do get the defense drop, not going to keep Tyranitar in, because, well, uh, Tyranitar could be good to stack off, no, not against Hitmonchan, not when it can regenerate its HP with Dream Punch, so, they're going to Victini this time, and it does use the Dream Punch, not going to do too much to, to Victini, really, but it does regen quite a bit of HP, in my opinion, so, Bikini's going to get healed with Leftovers, which is perfectly fine with me. And I'm going to go for a U-turn, hoping that maybe he'd switch out, but... Nope, not meant to be. So, Bikini is going to bounce back to my side, and in comes Slowbro. Do you even slow the Slowbro? So, here's Slowbro. And now I realize this isn't a Star Hit launch it has Rapid Spin, so... Yeah. That was definitely something that was not coming on. Pretty much has also a drain punch. He's just going to stack it off, which is perfectly fine with me. I mean, I do want that thing out of the way. So, Scald on Hitmonchan. I guess the Hitmonchan could be assault vested, but I don't know. I don't know what kind of item it has on it. Slowbro is going to get healed with the leftovers, and in comes Beedrill, which is kind of why I want to drop some. It's obviously not going to happen, and I do not want to sack off Slowbro just yet, so I'm going to sack off Tyranitar, whom is paralyzed. Can't really do anything while it's paralyzed, so this U-turn is sure as heck going to hurt. And while it is unfortunate I do sacrifice Tyranitar, I at least do get the Sandstorm up to cause some residual damage, so... It's not a complete loss. I'd rather have a healthy Slowbro, you know, out on the field than a paralyzed Tyranitar. So I'm going to go into Rome Wash, and 
Even Scarf, his Crocodile does not outspeed my Scarf Rotom because his Crocodile is probably defensively built. Thankfully, the Hydro Pump does hit and takes out Crocodile. So, getting buffeted by the Sandstorm, and next out comes Beedrill. I am not ready to start. I'm not going to waste my Hydro Pump on that Beedrill because if it misses, that Beedrill could take my Rotom out with a Poison Jab or a U Turn. So I'm gonna obviously go on my slow roast, see if I can tank a hit from it. Um, what I do here is, I guess I should have went for Scald in all honesty, but I wanted to make the space play and go for Psy Shock in case he decides to stay in, so he's gonna go for the U-turn. It doesn't prove to be that great of a move on my part, but he's gonna go into Scizor and it's gonna take a Psy Shock. Still not going to do much to Scizor though, because Scizor does resist Side Shark, and Scizors are generally defensively bulky. So, yeah. Not really much to say about that, except I'm going to just stack off Slow Row. It is the time to stack off Slow Row, because it's at low enough health where a regenerator probably won't even save it. So, Knock Off is going to finish off my Slow Row. So, yeah, this is Choice Bandit, definitely, because. I'm going to go into my Rotom Wash, I'm going to go for the Volt Switch to get some damage out on the Scizor. Volt Switch is going to hit neutrally, of course. Knocks it down to low red health. And I'm going to go into my Glalie, because I'm assuming this is Banded and lock into one move, so... Yeah. He does go for the... The knockoff, which obviously doesn't do anything when you have a Mega Stone on you. So, I'm going to Mega Evolve very clearly and, go to f and use Freeze Dry because I predicted the Slow Bro switch. It's obvious. He's not going to leave his Bandit Scissor to faint to a Mega Glalie. So, here's a Freeze Dry. It's going to be super effective on Slow Bro. And almost KOs it. If I had Stealth Rocks up, that crit would have KO'd it. But, I'm going to go for another Freeze Dry, going to finish off Slowbro, and down goes Slowbro. Next out comes Scizor. I'm going to go for an Ice Shard, because I don't know really what else I can do to it. And the Critical Hit Ice Shard does take it out. I'm pretty sure the Critical Hit did matter, because again, Scizors are generally defensive. Ice Shard doesn't have that great a base power, and... My Mega Lele isn't max invested in attack. So Ice Shard's not going to take out that Beedrill. Beedrill's going to finish off Mega Lele with a Poison Jab, which leaves Mega Beedrill versus Rotom Wash. And my Rotom Wash is going to finish off Mega Beedrill with a Volt Switch, and that is a game set match. Now, while it did seem like this team did do good this battle, you're going to find in the next Wi Fi battle I upload this team doesn't do that great, so that's why I switched it. Yeah, this team basically has a big weakness to Bisharp. But, other than that, this was a pretty good battle. Great that I didn't see any Bisharp. But as always, guys, thank you for watching this Wi-Fi battle. I'm going to see you guys next time for another Wi-Fi battle, or maybe on my stream. So, have a great day, everyone. Or night, depending on where you are from. And I'll see you next time.